Hi everybody. Well, it is very, very sunny. It's cold, but it's sunny. Um, this is just one of my usual little vloggy type vlogs, which I haven't done one in a long time. And I always said I would try and get two videos out a week if I could. So I'm going to put this out on a Sunday. So if it's Sunday and you're watching this right now, I'll say good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whichever time of the day you're watching this. So this is basically a vlog about my projects and my project updates. Right, so let me start, first of all, with my one. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing needs finishing. No, oh, that's a complete, absolute load of pants. It does need finishing. I've got a shower on the back door, Camplux um, shower. That needs to be finished off. Um, a water source and the gas source for it. Um, I've had an, I've had a couple of lights come up, um, the DPF light, so that's going to come off and be cleaned. I've got brake light come up, so brakes need to be changed. No, no, yeah, brake needs to be changed and the oil light come up. That's how long ago it was. So, and an O2 sensor, so I've got to get an O2 sensor done, I've got to clean the DPF, got to put brakes on it, new set of brakes, and also give it a good service before the season starts. Now, I said before the season starts for all the shows and everything, mainly because my new bus is due to be ready. Now, let's start on that project. Let's go over there. So, I don't know, I, can, I, I know I put out the video on painting this, but there it is. Still got a lot of work to be done. Now, um, we started to put the shower in um i'm working on the seats anybody that's been looking at my instagram you'll see pictures of those come up i've even switched the lights off in here and there's the plastics off of the seats just there they've now been sprayed the seat base is over there there's a seat base on that bench over there which is for the driver and so it's a bit of a mess in here i mean obviously we've had christmas and new year so there's the roller carpet which is going to go in the front. There are the seat benches that I've made. The shower started to be installed. A lot of the wiring is up there. It's been dropped down. So, you know, is it going to be ready for the season? I really don't know because we've got lots of work coming in with customers as well now. So, and customers' vehicles come first. Then my vehicle comes after. Um, unfortunately that's the way it is obviously we've been sorting out the workshop you know we've got new racking um, we've sorted all that out that bench there wasn't there before it was part of the big bench up the other end which was chopped in half um, all the stuff over has been sorted that those toolboxes were over the other side so we have had a big sort out in here and also at the front there just up the right at the front by the door there's a um, another cabinet, which is our cleaning cabinet. So it's been all hands on deck and get things sorted, just to make it get a bit of organisation. We now have a chop saw station over there. Let me show you the chop saw station um, because it makes it a lot easier to cut longer bits of wood. So let me show you that. So yeah, there. I mean, literally a three by two on the end there, but long bits of wood on there. I'm not worried about wobbling it on a small platform. Um, we've got a cable storage there. So we've been doing a lot in the workshop to get it sorted, make it more organised and easier to work with. Right. So the other thing with the new bus, it doesn't run. When we first bought it, there was an issue with the ECU. Because um, we never heard it running straight away. We had to wait for them to get it running. And then um, we bought it because it was running we know what the problem was it was a light come on the dash with a padlock in it now somebody told me when i say somebody told me i was told that that's the um immobilizer something to do with the immobilizer anyway that happened because the battery went flat now battery obviously went flat on here sitting in here for a little bit charged it up tried to start it and it had a bit of a Sort of, oh, I would say a brain fart moment because one moment it started, then it wouldn't, then it started, then it wouldn't. So and now the that light is on permanently. So we definitely think it's the immobilizer light again. Anybody know what it is? 
or have had this problem with theirs, let me know. So yeah, so plenty to be getting on with this. Um, it seems more than it really is because it's to me it's now just a build. Um, we've got the gas tank underneath it. Um, it so we've got all the batteries now for it. Look at that lot down there, all them batteries. So a total of 880 amp hours of batteries there. Right, now, one of the main reasons for this vlog um, is to talk about the Renault traffic we got. This one just here. So, the Renault traffic. Now, it's turned out quite good. Again, this has taken a big back seat for other stuff, and we're going to be finishing it off. Now, I called, or we've named this Remy, as in Remy the Renault, and I've always ummed and ahed about it until the other day. Because there's a very, very special little girl out there called Ronnie. I'm not going to explain who, where, what, when, why, but she knows who she is and she watches my channel and apparently one day she's going to have her own youtube channel and yes i will help her if she wants me to now ronnie is quite a devoted follower i reckon because she loves my channel and i know there's a lot of you out there love my channel and i still can't comprehend why anybody get entertainment from watching me do this in front of the camera but they do and I will say thank you to all of you I want to say a massive huge thank you for people that comment like and there's still a lot of people out there that watch my channel that don't haven't subscribed um, so if I'm gonna ask one thing please please subscribe to my channel it costs you absolutely nothing if you hit the notification bell you'll get my videos as they come out and they always come out around about tea time on a Thursday every Thursday um, I didn't even take a break over Christmas and if I can get extras out in the week or on a weekend I will do so 2022 hopefully we get a few extra videos in but yeah I'm gonna rename this after that little girl anyway her name's Ronnie hey Ronnie hope you're right hope you're looking after your mum and your brothers and everybody anyway so yeah as far as I'm concerned no one's been told about this everybody is involved with the projects and that no one's been told about this video this is just gonna come out so anyway Ronnie it's gonna be named after you and I'm gonna use a nice little font for the name and we're gonna we got a, a vinyl printer and I'm gonna put a little sticker on the back of it with Ronnie on it if I've got a chance before the video comes out, I'm going to put how I'm going to write it just there in the font that I'm going to use. So you can also see your name written here. Anyway, so Ronnie the Renault. That is now Ronnie the Renault. We've renamed it. Because my one over there is called Covey. This one doesn't have a name. It's just the Black Beast because it's black and it is a bit of a beast of a truck. Um, this one name is Kong. Let's say, and you'll see why when it's finished. Right, let's go to the two projects over the other side of the workshop, which have come to a big, serious halt because of other stuff and other work. Right, so under all of this array here is a VW Crafter airport bus. And it's now become part storage for materials and everything. It's been stripped, and this is called Buster. So, um, I got, got its name called Buster, and again, it's taking a bit of a backseat again because I've got one pair of hands and all these vehicles, it's difficult. And this one, the biggest one of all, the horse box. Now this is going to come out and start be worked on now as well because ideally we need this ready for um, the new season. 
it's had its floor done, all the rust work underneath has been done. Um, as you can see, the insulation's sat there, we need to insulate it. And all the battens to put in there between the insulation is there. So we've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with. Anyway, so this is just like my little project update for people. So, oh yeah, the horse box. It's called Hetty, and that was named by the owners. Hetty the horse box. So we got Hetty the horse box, bust of the bus. Kong, which is my bus. Covey, which is my original van. And we got now Ronnie the Renault. Anyway. I think that's about it, really. Um, well, I'll tell you what else I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> you hear me do that a lot. <clears throat> and I have had a few comments about heavy breathing on my channel. And sometimes I will disguise that a little bit with a bit of music, background music. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. Um, and give you a little bit of insight to why I've got heavy breathing. Um, should I be telling you this? Shouldn't I be telling you this? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Right, okay, where do I start? Right. Okay, let's start back from when I was a little nipper. And... I suffered quite badly with asthma. And that's where it all started from, really. On and off, all my life. And was diagnosed... quite a few years ago now with COPD, sleep apnea acute asthma so and you know what hospitals like to and from hospitals to get things right and last year i had a whole day appointment at a hospital in london called the royal brompton and there for the serious asthma, serious asthma and copd patients and finally i'm better than i was obviously weather weather makes things different and yeah so I have no control over the heavy breathing. Might sound a bit sort of, I don't know, heavy breather like on the end of a phone, but trust me, it's not. And I try and correct it sometimes and over sort of compensate for the breathing, but it doesn't work as hard as I try. It's like trying to ride a bicycle backwards. It just ain't gonna happen. Um, so yeah, so when you hear me go, <coughs> I do apologize. I always apologize in advance now. Um, it is down to health issues and some days are better than others um, some days are great some days are awful and it all goes always down to stress as well I mean we all suffer a certain amount of stress and that in our life so but you can't let it take over your life and unfortunately hospitals and doctors are part of my life but I don't make them define my life that's for sure my health doesn't stop me doing what I need to do. If I do become poorly, then I know when my limits are and when to stop. But, so when you hear that, you know why. And, you know, I, I know it doesn't sound good sometimes, but believe me, I feel, <laughs> I was gonna say as healthy now as I was when I was 21. But I'm 21 anyway, so I'm still healthy. <sighs> yeah, you won't believe that. Anyway. I, so, you know, am I poorly? I say I'm not, doctors might say I am, you know, people might argue that, but, you know, everybody's got something wrong with them somewhere, and if you haven't, damn, you're perfect. But all I'm looking forward to is the shows, the meets, the world camping, the, just getting out and about in the van again, and, you know, just, I, I like to feel normal um, 2021 was a great year and I met some amazing people some might remember me some might not um, there's a guy from Simply Conversions who I met at um, the International Camper Van Show I'll leave a link in the description below you got Neil and Emma from Urban Van Life. I love them guys. I love the way they are. I love the way their videos come out. I just, everything about them, they're just great. And to be honest with you, I still need to have a beer with him. He di I didn't give him the beer when I saw him at Camp Creator. Anyway, Neil, still need to have a beer with you. Um, Will from Will's Whereabouts, he's been in the workshop. Um, I know he's going through a few problems at the moment, but 
hey mate kitchen up uh get to a few shows this year um i'll send you a message make sure you're okay and you got luke from luke's van life um who else there's there's loads um the radfords roman radfords Stephen Lindsay, lovely best people on earth love them to bits um beyond bricks tash and john uh, i could name loads and i'll stick some links in the description below for these people go and check out their channels they you know they're amazing they come out with some good stuff not forgetting the two girls from camper vibe mustn't forget them i think lou might bite me head off if i don't mention her i think because i've met them a few times now and again lovely great you know they're so funny um but you've got loads of shows loads of festivals this year and i will plug the one um two shows this year is the international camper van show and the overland adventure show now you've got one on june the 4th and 5th this year and also in september now the reason i'm promoting these shows is because i am the displays vehicle manager for the show so if you want to display your vehicle if you have a classic car if you have a vw if you have a camper van uh they're doing these little mini vehicles anything at all an overlander if you have a vehicle and you want to display it at the show my email is below ping me over an email and let's talk i'll make sure you get a code get your van in and chat to people about your build about your vehicle whatever it is whether it's a classic car whether it's a custom car hot rod anything um vws you know it, if it's a show vehicle let me know i want to see it i want to see some pictures email me and let's start talking but i think really that's all i've got time for today um i've rattled on a little bit but i just want to give you an update with projects promote the show tell you a little bit about myself so you'll know a little bit more about me and hopefully i'll meet all of you in a field very soon and we can share a beer or a drink and two other guys that i just want to mention before i finish now at the show um last two shows i've been riding around on this little three-wheeler del the old um del trot trotters three-wheeler car and it was a mini version of that and i raced the other one on the version of the mini version of their van i had hysterics with them guys um i had a video call with them too the other day um and their van, the van's called daisy the cow van they're on instagram i'm gonna leave links in the description below for this the guys are nuts now um some of the creations some of the things they come up with in that van is just absolutely astronomical and beyond me <clears throat> and i asked the question how do you think this stuff up and i was crying with laughter when they told me drunk science they think out when they're pissed okay but yeah anyway i i love them two guys they're going to be at the show for definite i know they will and no doubt i'll be riding around on that stupid three-wheeler again um <clears throat> i've had to change the motor in it and i'm starting to wonder if that was my weight on that thing that blew the motor so yeah uh, anyway i'm not gonna rattle on anymore and it's a sunny day it makes you feel great on a sunny day i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying really well and most of all staying really really happy bye for now mm -hmm.